everybody, welcome to Amsterdam. This is part two of my little solo entrailing trip. So the first video is Paris and Brussels, which is already up if you've not watched it. And yesterday I traveled from Brussels here to Amsterdam. And I'm actually so buzzing to be here. I have come here before. I came when I was 18 with my like group of school friends and I had such a good time. I love how like pretty everything is. I think this might be my favorite place I've been so far. Today is only day one, so we shall see. It's been, I, I guess that would make it five years since I've been here, which is actually kind of crazy that I was 18 almost five years ago. I'm 22 right now, but it's my birthday like next week. So yeah, I got the train here yesterday. I think it was meant to take two hours, but it took three, but still so short. Like the distances is actually crazy because I went to uni in Edinburgh. So I was getting like a four and a half hour train back and forth, like, you know, regularly. So sort of like get on a two hour train and be in like a whole new country, a whole new city. Like, I don't know. Obviously you can do that in the UK as well, but it's just like kind of crazy how close everything is and so ideal. This is my new little Airbnb. This I think is my favorite one so far. Um, just the view out the window is really pretty and the bed was very, very comfy. Definitely good vibes in this one. Um, I'll give you a little tour. We have the bed and like a little rail thingy it is like a bit small so my stuff is kind of like exploded everywhere but how pretty is this view out the window so nice and then um just set up like my skincare and there's like a little sofa as well which is ideal so yeah i feel like this view is just like i love the buildings here so pretty i don't really have much of a strict plan for today i've booked art gallery for later this evening so I'm just gonna kind of wander around again. I've made a list of places on my phone I want to go. I actually bought some postcards last night. I sent a few in Brussels um, that I bought in Paris and I just love postcards. When I was in Asia, me and Neve sent, I'd say, I think it was eight lots of postcards and each time we were sending like four each, three or four each. So we sent like a lot of postcards from Asia. One of them still not arrived, I feel like that's kind of gone. But yeah, I'm just like, I just love them. And when I got home, I sent one to my parents each time and just like seeing all of them like on the mantelpiece in the living room I just thought it was like so nice and eventually I'll probably like steal them back from them because they're such good mementos to have like from the trip because I've written like everything that we've done in there and like just what I've been up to and stuff so yeah I'm trying to do it again except this time I feel like because because that trip was three months long I could really like space them out whereas here it's like I wrote one like three days ago but anyway I've got some nice little postcards from a bookshop and I might write these uh, I should probably write like I think I'll write them in a couple days actually once I've done a bit more stuff here yeah I'm actually gonna do some laundry now this place has a washing machine which is so ideal that's why I'm wearing this like velvet top I've run I've run out of like regular tank tops so I'm just gonna wander around get some food enjoy the city
right choice Hope I make the right noise Hoping that you like boys like me I know you feeling me from across the room I got a feeling you could be my muse I get strange when I see you You say green but I see blue Either way your eyes the ones I'm looking to When I'm hell first Falling from heaven baby Living my Welcome to Friday in Amsterdam. My hair is like really not cooperating, but I can't find my... I want to put like a headband in it. I don't know where it went though. I was wearing it in Paris and then I took it off because it was giving me a headache and then I didn't wear it. So yeah, today's plan, I am... Um, I'm going to do a bit of like laptopy stuff. I found a cafe where I can... I don't know, I did some research on places that are good to like do work during the day, like cafes and stuff, because I feel like I've not really done much in a, this past week since being away. I did edit a video in Brussels, but I've got like more application stuff to do and yeah, I just think that will take me a little while, so that's the plan for today. But I am excited, I feel like I'm feeling good things towards that. But I think it'll be nice. I've actually, I feel like because I've been here before and a lot of the museum, like I went to an art gallery last night, which was really, oh yeah, yesterday I went to the Moko Museum. I went the last time I was here. I wanted to go to the Van Gogh, Van Gogh, I never know how you say that, um, museum this time because I've never been, but it was sold out because I'm here like over the weekend. So that's kind of annoying. I went to the Moko Museum. I would recommend, but I think they let too many people in. I know I went like later in the evening where it's cheaper so I assume that that also played a factor but like it was sold out earlier in the day as well so I feel like I don't know what the like capacity is but I think it's just too busy to like fully enjoy the art like when I went to that art gallery in Paris that was still like very like busy and there were a lot of people but I feel like there was still space to like breathe I think because the building the Moku Museum is in is very very small small rooms but I still had a great time and I'm glad I went um but yeah, I've not really got too much else on my list of like things that I want to do in Amsterdam. I kind of just want to like go on walks because I love the buildings, the architecture here is like so pretty. So just like chill, go on walks and I don't know, just sort of like enjoy the city. So today's plan, like I said, go work in a cafe. I'm also going to go get that ban me again. It was so nice. Um, not as good as the one I had in Vietnam. But if you, if you watched the Vietnam video, you know I ate... There's this place in Hoi An, Ban Mi Che, please go. Oh, I think it's called Le Hoi Ban Mi Che, please go if you're there. The Ban Mi's are like 50p and the best thing I've ever taken, like genuinely so good. We were there for four days and we ate eight, eight each, which is quite a like two a day, it's like quite a lot. It's like a big baguette filled with like fillings. I think I'm gonna go back to that place today just because it was like a bit cheaper. Everything, thing with this trip is that like everything's so expensive, um, which obviously makes sense, but just compared to like being in Southeast Asia, just the amount of money that you have to spend on food here is like insane. So that place was, that ban me was like a little bit cheaper than some other places. So I think I'm gonna go back for that and then go do my work and then just come back and chill in the evening. That's the plan. I'll be your home, I'll be your distance, I'll be still.
yesterday from Amsterdam which was fine quite straightforward I'm so sick of lugging that background like so so sick of it but I only got one journey left I'm going to Berlin tomorrow so I only have one full day here to like enjoy it I went to the nicest Indian restaurant yesterday it was like all veggie and I don't know if I was just starving from being on the coach or if it was actually really good but I had a masala dosa and it was really nice like it really hit the spot so I'll put the name on the screen. I didn't film anything because I was literally so hungry. I didn't get time. Basically, I went to this restaurant to like get a sandwich for the coach journey and then it was shut and then I was so stressed that I was gonna miss the coach. So I just went and then I got on this like three and a half coach journey and I thought they would stop because the last one I did, they did. And I asked when I got on, is there a stop? And he was like, yes, it was fake news. So I didn't get to eat the whole journey. Um, so I was literally starving when I got here. But today's plan, I wanna go to the cathedral and i walked along the river last night which was so pretty it's just like such good weather like yesterday and today which i'm so grateful for so yeah it will be nice to have a wonder i kind of i feel like i'm just accepting i'm not gonna see everything here because i've only got one day and i don't want to like run around all day i just kind of want to like take it in for a day this is my first time in germany which is pretty cool i got to put a new country on my list of countries yesterday and yeah i'm excited this room is so nice like we've got the bed oh i hate that there's me um but it's in the attic it's on the fifth floor so carrying that suitcase up was like i had to carry this up literally five flights of stairs it was so bad and then i've got like a little bathroom in here um but yeah, very simple. My favorite thing for sure. For that, well, firstly, just like having so much space. It's so big for activities. And then I know I've already shown you it, but the view is so cool. I love how you can like see the water. It's the the Rhine, I think that's how you say it. Um, and then a nice view of this like square as well. I think we're gonna head out and I'll take you along, of course.
habla, acá hay un mozo que habla castellano. Uh -huh.